All right, so everyone finishes their yeah, short the rest. Was... God fucking damn it, John. The, the... Everyone finishes their uh, their short rest. Uh, the haste obviously passes away. You guys all feel a bit dizzy for a second, but afterwards you're, all, you're okay. And yeah, you, you sit for an hour uh, looking down at kind of the, the precipice you could have fallen into. And uh, yeah, you're on this uh, this plateau that feels like it's in the heart of a very dense portion of the the the, 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 the deep forest around Vasselheim. The lovely plateau, isn't it? It's not. It's horrible. <laughs> the lovely plateau, isn't it? What was the best I've seen? Is the happening still going? Was it like? Was it just like? Yeah, ten would plateau. So, did anyone else hear cackling? I did. I looked for it. I heard it, and I found. It. Okay. I might be getting close to that. Well. Onwards and upwards. All right. If we go back through the log. <laughs> I'm hearing a no. No, we're not going. I mean, back. I mean, I'm quite tempted actually. It was. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't uh, I think it might be another time, Jazz. But concerning the fact that we've been traveling in this location a lot, we've seen what sort of effigies and uh, fetishes this bounty flesh. Hangs and what I know about fake culture. Could I try making maybe an arcana check to see what sort of caster is she? Is she like maybe divine? Maybe she arcanish? You can, yeah, you can roll. Um, yeah, I rolled first. Good for you. Yeah, with, with the sixteen. For some reason. With well, double. I don't disadvantage. think it's advantage. What the fuck? I just so I actually rolled a twenty-three, but somehow I accidentally clicked double disadvantage on my sheet. Yeah, uh, John, you can John, you roll as, as well. How, how, how... No, 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 no. I, the largest click I give him that. I mean, to be fair, last time I, mean, I, I clicked like, first I'm... to make a point about how ridiculous the whole "I clicked it first" thing is. Yes. Um, stupid. Last time, though, I did 20... say. John, I just press the button, instead. please. Just press it so I can give information. <laughs> Cool. So you don't really know much about it, John. Um, it's 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 kind of beyond your expertise. Vlad, knowing a little more about fey creatures and stuff. Um, Hags, I've encountered a lot by now. Yeah, you've encountered a lot by now. You also know a, a fair bit just from your research and studies. Um, hags, when they're part of a coven, tend to follow a particular like um, set of spells depending on the coven's kind of planning and outlook. Sometimes it's divination, sometimes it's nature, you know, depending on what that coven uh, is fond of. In the case of individual hags, uh, their magic is normally an innate thing. Uh, it's just part of them. They are magical creatures. So, this, honestly, her, her like list of spells could be anything. Um, it's really just, it's part of her. She is a magical thing. So she won't be like a I've wizard or a cleric. Like a half vampire, half hag before, right? Like, that's not a... A thing that usually exists. No, you've you've never it heard of that. More often yeah. you do. The the only place yeah, you, I, I, if I you're like, oh, it was an arcane roll, not history. So yeah, like, no, you you haven't you haven't heard anything um, about that. It's not like a a commonly occurring thing. You're sure of that? Can can I roll a history check and just make it up anyway? <laughs> you, you can roll a history check, and that might get you different information. Twenty four. So the way it is. Nobody else is gonna fuck a hag. I mean, seriously, have you seen them? Vampires, though, very low standard. <laughs> uh, what what you actually sure know you... is, um... Joe, I'm pretty sure you fucked the hag earlier today. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You weren't there. So, what you actually know is, uh, yes, there is like a very old story of um, of uh, a, a a powerful um, vampire, or a semi-powerful vampire who um, had a a red hag servant. And Powerful they... and sexually desperate. Yeah. Well, you, you actually saw the red hags. They were not unattractive yeah, they were creatures. Really attractive, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the red hags they're are ritualistic scarring, so that's a bit of a turn off for me personally. But, yeah. You know, but it floats your boat. They're, they're they're powerful like fey hags who um, don't normally move into the material plane. He must have somehow bartered to get it across. But the story sort of follows these were these two creatures who would. You know, they, they kind of had some sort of tryst, and from it, uh, an unnatural child was born. And um, they, they, they expect to be able to use the child to gain great power and favor. But the the story ends with um, the vampire being impaled on a tree under running water by its daughter, so that it could never escape its torment. And the uh, the blood hag, the red hag, being 
uh, chained up, like, nearby, Wait. forced to watch for all they... eternity. The vampire would just die. No, I remember the song they wrote about it. Pinned underwater by your daughter, pinned underwater. You know, it was very catchy. The, the, the vampire would surely just die. They take damage when they are running water. It's just a story. Oh, no. It's how you know it goes. The, the vampire was forever trapped a few so, inches from... He was very so hearty. You say vampires, very attractive creatures usually. Uh, and these blood hacks, not too bad at look at uh, themselves. So I'm sure that uh, that their child will also be incredibly attractive and not at all incredibly ugly. Yes, absolutely. Definitely. You're sure of it. Have you never seen two ugly people with a beautiful child? It happens. Too often. No. Yeah, Vla Vladimir's parents are gorgeous. Um, <laughs> right, so you guys uh, move into this plateau, I assume, eventually. Um, so, so you've got a smaller space now. You kind of travel uh, towards the center of this plateau, and eventually, you just see woodland for a long time, like this dense wood around you. Everything's quite, uh, quite dim and dark here. Uh, you feel like it shouldn't be nighttime, but the 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 what's it called? The clouding above you becomes so prevailing and like dark that everything kind of drops to like a nightlight darkness. And eventually, uh, you find yourself uh, standing in a small clearing, a uh, very small clearing in this dense woodland. And you can see in the middle, there is um, a basin of blood uh, for the second time in this session, a large basin of blood, uh, a very large rock cauldron, about 10 foot across, just filled with uh, red, uh, thick liquid. And uh, that, that kind of irony scent is in the air. Uh, you can all sort of Ooh, taste it on the lips. And on either side of this um, this large uh, basin of blood uh, are graves. Graves have been dug, and uh, there's headstones uh, above the graves, uh, though they are unmarked by anything but a strange sigil on each. That's supposed to be our graves. I hope not. That would be terribly cliché. I mean, I'll, I'll be impressed if they were, like, graves for us already, since we just got here. That's good. You said that they have the same symbol on them? Same sigil? They, they both have a sigil on them, yeah. Uh, can I try to perhaps read it? Uh, roll an arcana check for me. Can I use guidance? Sure. Yeah, you can mark to yourself a quick, quick prayer of guidance. <laughs> oh yeah, no trouble. Um, they're written in oh, Sylvan, 32. but you've seen this before. Um, they translate to lock and key, um, the the two things. You also recognize that effectively um, they're, they're some sort of... Um, they're, 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 they're connected to an enchantment that is in the cauldron. Basically, the, the these are guardian stones. Like Something is connected to these stones. With that really good arcana roll, you have a feeling it's what's ever buried inside these graves. And they will have to be killed or defeated before you can proceed further. Did somebody say killed or defeated? I relay that information exactly as you said it to Vladimir first. Like with that kind of knowledge, you're good. You're you're, you're sure. Like all right, these are connected to the the altar uh, in some way, kind of blocking passage. And there's something that has to be like destroyed before that you can you can press on. And you also make the assumption like, well, there's. Their graves. There'll be something that's going to come out of those fucking graves and attack us. You rolled a natural twenty. You you figure all, right. all that out. I will. I will start casting a spell. <laughs> oh. All right. Um. Do you want some takes, juice, Lucian? Save you using the bit I gave you. Um, or um, you light on I would not object. What are we doing? We'll still begin with an M. Just if you do anything, give me a, give me a minute yes. so I can cast the spell and then we can. Yeah, I can move you to the map this. now as well. Right. I think yeah. I've got I've got haste prepped for Lucy what? and myself. What are we doing? I phased out for a second there. I'm casting a spell, Joe. Oh, really? oh, people in the graves. Bef oh. Before casting haste, we should probably work out how we're going to get these things to actually come out. John's pretty confident that if themselves. you if you get too close, they're gonna come for you. I mean, you're already pretty close. But if you like touch the altar, or um, we've got a bit more time than that, or or just before uh, Vlad starts casting as well, I could 
I could pop us up a tiny protective hut. Hide in there and just throw shit out at them. I mean, I agree with Vlad as well, understandably. Do you cast me? I would just make the point that in a game not so long ago, he was doing this the entire game. Jesus. Well, I do was you, on a vision quest. Sure having a stroke. <laughs> do, do you cast Tiny Hut? I'm asking the party if they want me to. If, if they're yeah. not fussed about it, then obviously I won't bother. To answer you. <laughs> uh, I'm personally not fussed. I mean, uh, I, I suggest you cast it outside the magic circle, but I mean, it's casting. Killing I like my call. Alright, those spells go off. Uh, whatever spells you're doing, they go off. So you can put down no, your No, my circle. tiny heart I didn't even notice it. Oh, goodness. Uh, interesting lost. fact, uh, magic circles and tiny huts react to each other and uh, they explode. Uh, <laughs> and they, well, implode. <laughs> Cast them inside of each other. <laughs> probably I, I did say that to Joe, I hope Joe would listen. Well, you take I didn't uh, my 220 damage. Ah. <laughs> Implosion damage. Mine's a radius and that was a really good roll. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's, um, that, that yeah, little anything. Uh, Come on. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go nipple pink with my little tiny heart. All right. If nobody wants to come in. Then, Wait. if you want, I could do it with skeletons. I'll I'll stay in my magic circle. John, circle or heart? Uh, I'm sorry, I have to be with Vladimir. We're from pros. Like I like it, Joe, but oh, that's the wrong skeleton. I just, Joe, I just look at Joe and do the like. Head cut off motion like oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Joe uh, I, and nine skeletons. I designate all the things you can for magic circles, so Joe's skeletons sadly also won't be able to end. Okay. See this is a confusing thing. It says you and nine creatures. I don't see how the other creature fits in. Maybe he sits on my shoulders or something. Um, so I'll just say it's me and eight skeletons. Yeah. I I think it's supposed that it'd be like a little like Everyone can just squeeze enough yeah. that like you can get barely get like another creature. In. They're in like a combat situation where you have to like stretch out a little bit and move a little more. One person gets like shunted out. <laughs> yeah, you'd be surprised how many people can fit. How many people can fit in a five-man oh, ten? Box. Oh. <laughs> Especially if they're young naked students, you can fit about fifty in a five-man ten. <laughs> oh, oh. Damn it! All right, yeah, your tiny hut appears. We were all students, no. weren't we? We had different experiences. Uh, yeah, cast sacred weapon on your weapon, and yeah, you're you're all there. You 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 did your things. All right, right let's, everybody. Let's do this. I'm not gonna be the one to act. So you don't let him. <laughs> Lucian Bank, you want to do the honors? I yeah. You know, just kind of put a hand in the pot and see what happens all right you put your hand in the pot uh it's warm and you, you actually feel your mouth like salivate it's like mm, mm. smells good but nothing Deep. from the graves not immediately i think you have to move close to the graves thanks gonna like hock a loogie straight into that pot Ugh. Big, nasty one. Come on, make him roll the dex check to see if it hits Lucian instead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you hawk a loogie. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't think I understand that colloquialism. It's, <laughs> it's like uh, spit, um, snot, spit, mix. spit, phlegm. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but I, it's the way the Americans say it. I like, it's, I like it's, the way it's, it's how Gaston spits. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, you, you touch it, some time passes, you touch the thing. Okay, so walking all of the graves didn't do anything. No, it doesn't seem so. And as time kind of starts to pass, Joe, you look down uh, at your feet, dang. and like, the, the soil around your feet is growing kind of weirdly sludgy. Oh, I've had an accident. 
<laughs> the soil at my feet is growing weirdly sludgy. I tried drinking some of the stuff from the cauldron. Mm. Oh no, why? It tastes good. <laughs> tastes real good. Yeah, the, the, pretty good, guys. Yeah, the floor continues to like grow more and more like thick and like soupy around your feet, Joe. Mm. I'm trying to read if the well, the atmosphere in the tent I can control, but I don't think it has a bottom on it, does it? Uh, yeah, you can control the atmosphere. Um, mm. Lucian, you you can see Go magic, on. can't you? Yeah. Mhm. Mm you can uh, you can see that like the kind of ambient magic in the air around you, it's like gathering around John's um, orb effectively, his little John. hut, and like Joe's orb, and like the the floor itself is like the 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 uh, the magic that was inside there is growing more and more like radiant. It looks like it's, it's yeah it continues to grow like more like uh, sludgy around your feet, Joe. Ah. Oh. Oh. Fine, I'll come out of the dang hut. <laughs> like you slosh out of the hut. As soon as you do, the second you do, uh, you hear a, well, that's more fair. Eh, that's not good for you. Well, that's more fair. And um, your hut pops away. Oh, why does my hut pop away? Because you stepped out of it. Leave it, it goes. Oh. And then I need everyone to roll initiative as like the uh, the dirt around the uh, thingies starts to move, and out of them two large creatures wrench themselves out of the ground. Please be fair on that. Please be fair on that. Please. Look, some dead. Can I have been holding my action to dash? No dash, but dodge, dodge. We can say you were dodging. Yeah, that's fine. I wouldn't. I don't know if you were holding an attack because it was a, there was a, a long. No, no, no. Pause. Just a dodge. But a dodge, I think you could be. I was just. Shielded. I was just pinging case Whoa. to. Hold, I was holding it. Whatever. Yeah. Haste is cast. Twin spell. Um, you can't actually hold haste because every turn you would lose the spell slot, because it takes your concentration to hold uh, it for a turn. So you'd have to do okay, it on your, I, your I'll, action. I'll cast it my first initiative then. Yeah. Uh, initiative, initiative. I'd love to be able to press a button at the top of the screen. Initiative. Cool. All right. So, um, the first person to go. So you see these like horrible, like strange creatures, like pulling themselves out. They're like an amalgamation of like different body parts all put together. Uh, yeah, they they pull themselves out of the dirt. These uh these tall, like eight foot tall figures. Uh, Lucian, you're the first to react, probably because you noticed them pulling themselves out first and foremost. Well, they don't look particularly pleasant. Do they look like flesh golems? What? What's a flesh golem? Something I've had to fight a few times. Um, they I look had... like creatures made of many dead parts. They probably would look like the same them. as flesh golems you fought before, since they've been made by different magic, but it's a fair assumption to make. Okay. None of these things are Fey Undead or anything else, I think. So fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I've never used this spell. And it, it actually did works. anything. It's funny never. how he fucked over the spell that would have been effective, but not the one that was useless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll attack the nearest one. You spend some time prepping, the evil of the area spends some time prepping. Uh, yeah, that hits its AC of 9. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it, it makes no attempt to dodge. Uh, that also hits. So you lay into it twice with your, your flail. Smash, smash. Uh, like makes a horrible, like, wet sucking noise when the flail pulls out. Uh, the creature doesn't seem to really know to notice, though. Okay, I'll stay where I am. How do you get a plus 15 to hit? <laughs> fucking min max. Men max, that's how you can do it. Uh, sacred weapon. It um, adds my charisma modifier onto the attack rolls of all my weapons. Damn. Okay. Uh, Vladimir? Uh, I'll activate the Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians! What level do I do them? It's a good damn spell. Fourth. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, the guardians of spirit. <laughs> and I'll move here. I don't think the circle does anything, but like, actually, because the circle doesn't do anything, I move here yeah. to get. I mean, Vladdy might see these creatures and things. think undead because unless he, because they look pretty freaking uh, undead. What's more, the flesh golem before. Could you like an intelligence check or some shit to be like, yeah, mm, construct? Yeah. Ah, eh. uh, you're not entirely sure. Like you, you flesh golems are always a bit of a weird one. Are they undead? Are they co also the creatures coming from the trees? Like I haven't really described them yet, but they they're actually like covered in like dying flesh. It's up to you. I'm not going to penalize you for leaving it. Uh, I, I'm actually yeah. I'll move here. I, it's more for the you know Vlad can take a hit. The Stoker is more for the people that can't. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, I, I prioritize doing some damage to these fucks. And, uh, that's it. Okay. Salt Lord. You, so, really just, you really just wanted to make sure you make all the concentration checks. <laughs> Diving into Lucian's aura. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, you know. I mean, I we, plus nine. why do you have to, like, come on, remember how you have to be sneaky about this? Um, well, I don't know what they are, and I hope that the aura is safe, so I'm just gonna stay by germ, I'm just gonna try to, uh, sacred flame one of them, preferably the one that's not been hit. Okay. Uh, they don't look very dexterous. That is for damn sure. Uh, dexterity save. Uh, yeah, I think that hits. Uh, it makes no attempt to dodge. It just burns like, it's like. Uh. You you decided to target the one without legs. That just <laughs> yeah, it's still ha it's just... still half in the thing. Uh, right. So coming screaming from the woods, um, these like eight foot tall figures with like long uh beast arms. Come like trundling out, like these long, like uh, ape-like arms come running out of the woods, and they're all covered in like flayed skin. Like their bodies are just covered in, uh, yeah, what looks like flayed human flesh. Uh, some of it's still like dripping gore, and their faces are covered in um, in masks made of flesh. But the confusing thing is, as they come running out, like these these human flesh masks on them. The beasts underneath are like roaring, like battle cries, like these deep screams, while the faces made of flesh are screaming in terror. Like the lips are moving oh. separately on the face made of flesh, and they're just like ah! screaming as these monsters come out running. This is confusing. Yeah, it's it's a bit like it's very disorientating. <laughs> I am confused. Are they scared or are they angry? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, they are angry. It's only the faces that are scared. I understand. Is this an English signal? Yeah, the ones moving into. Yeah, I know. They're Vladimir's... difficult terrain slash uh, wisdom saves. They'll make them. Um, boop, boop. I didn't know how familiar you were with the uh, Spirit Guardian spells. So it's just a new one to me, but um, I think I'm getting. When was it released? Xanathar? Yeah, I think it's a newish one. This one's going to just run to here and throw a javelin. So this one slides down this embankment and throws a quick javelin at Joe. The fuck uh, did I do? You decided to show up not wearing armor. Yeah. Oh well. I assume you decided that to show up not wearing your spectacles. Uh, they Joe are not face fiends. Celestials are undead. Those bugbears. I don't think I've ever fought bugbears. I don't actually know what they look like. I mean, I, I, I would bugbears, assume that uh, bugbears. No, I don't think it's a hobgoblin. I know it's not. I just want to say, like, uh, they don't look like hobgoblins. They're a lot taller than hobgoblins, and they're a lot like stockier <laughs> built. They look to you like crazed apes covered in um, yeah, crazed apes covered in flayed flesh. Oh, don't don't get me started on crazed apes. Who cares what they are? Let's just kill them. like crazed apes. So... At least I'm not crazy frog. No, yeah, that's true. Be quiet, Joe. We do not reference stuff from that I time. Did, I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, no, I keep on getting <laughs> I, I even changed my <laughs> token name to Solo. You have no excuse. I do. So, uh, three more javelins are going to fly 
Well, I'm going to float. Two of them fly at John. Or, sorry, John. Joe. God damn it. So, two of them fly at Joe. <laughs> it's a thing that now. That's that difficult, I... guys. One, Come on. Two. And one of them's going to throw it, throw it Denk, because he looks like he should have bad armor. Well, the one yeah. that got, got the 22 hit me. Cool. Uh, a bunch confident. of the others move up so they engage you. Uh, one of them actually can run up and hit your skeleton. So, one of them runs up to one of your skeletons and swings its morning star at you. Uh, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> 11. So it was this well, one down here, but it misses. Okay. With its 20... Was this... uh, yeah. Was uh, the last two at me? Did that 22 hit me? Uh, the last uh, one was at you. Alright, yeah. cool. Uh, so, keep... And uh, two of them have to make wisdom saving throws or take a bunch of damage. One. Two. Uh, I think those both fail. How much damage was it? 17? 19. Yeah. 19, 19, damn. And it's radiant because they're not evil. 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 Uh, <laughs> evil. All right. Uh, <laughs> Lock and Key are going to have to make their wisdom saves as well. Uh, they both fail. Oh, taking they got names. More damage. Nineteen. Radiant. Nineteen. That hurts. That radiant. fucking hurts. Uh, yeah, right. It's fourth level spirit guard. It's supposed yeah. to hurt. No, it ain't good. It ain't good either, blood. Uh, well, they don't yeah. like Vladdy for that. So one of them's going to go up attack Vladdy. One of them's going to attack Lucian. Hello. Because they ain't smart. So one of them if rumbles. That is to you, are you the gatekeeper? <laughs> one of them trundles the up to our good friend Vladdy and swings twice. Oh, my spleen. It's not. <laughs> Slightly less impressed with the second swing. I think you actually have to make a con save for once. No, Lucian's on Aura. Oh, god damn that Lucian Aura. Uh, and the other one's going to swing twice at Lucian, because fuck your Aura. One, two. But yeah, they don't even get close to hitting you. Their bonus is alright, but not quite there. Uh, Uncle Joe, there's angry, like, flesh covered creatures with screaming faces all around you. And uh, two tall, like, fleshy creatures swinging at your friends. One of them just picked Vladimir up and just slammed him into the ground like the Incredible Hulk. Ah, shit happens. Um, well, obviously, bonus action, Joe is going to tell his skeletons, take out swords and shields and slice these motherfuckers to oblivions. I mean, the, the ones that are attacking. You know who I mean. Don't act like you don't. Uh, one of them I gives you the finger guns. You. Ah, damn you, Sparrow, you lovable son of a bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, they're going to move. Move. So we're going to do three on that one. Three on that one. Oh, actually, it'll be six, sorry, because they have two attacks. Six, six, and four. Four. Cool. Uh, it's going to be the same bow thing, but it's the sword and the bow have the same modifier. So, uh, do I get an AC, please? Uh, yes, sorry. They have an AC of 16. They're carrying shields. Uh, uh, the shields the are made AC out of skeleton. bone and blood. Ah! Oh. Pick up the shields! Pick. Stop attacking them and just pick up the shields! <laughs> They're um, holding so them. You have to kill them first. God damn you! Um, two hit. Fucking okay. useless. You little so bastards! That's the, one, that's the one on the, the left there. He takes 21 Stupid damage. damage. Uh, yeah. Ah. You, uh... Skeletons get a lot of boosts. Badly wound that guy. Um, then it's the one at the bottom here. He's gonna get okay. uh, six attacks against him. I assume he has the same AC. Uh... Yep. Two hits again, but this one a crit. So two hits, one crit. Uh, that's 25 damage to him. Okay. Uh, yeah, your skeletons are hacking into them, badly wounding two of them. And then the guy at the top, only two, only uh, four attacks against him. Three hit. Fucking pulling their weight. Spar Sparrow's one of the ones at the top, obviously. Yeah. Uh, no crit. Just double short towards him. And that's another 25. Nice. Very consistent. Very consistent, yeah. boys. I mean, shit, Sparrow did hit so well last time, he didn't hit so well. 
Yeah, well, he only gets two attacks. I mean, he, there's only so much Sparrow can do. So yeah, they um, badly wound wait. two of the uh, two of the guys. Wait, wait. wait. Um, with how his... is? Here's a question. What? The top one is you rolled a five, three, and a five, and this one you rolled a two, two, and a three, but they both do twenty-five damage. Uh. Yeah. Because only the damage dice are doubled. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I, I was very confused you, for a second. You make me doubt my maths there for a bit. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, I, I doubt never. his maths. You never doubt your maths, you know. You just took less to the score. I mean, th that's not wrong, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Damn it! Isn't there a way to hit both of these, but not myself? Oh yeah, I could uh. move. Um, <laughs> move. <laughs> Is there a way I can do it, but also be lazy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do I have to move? Can I cast a fireball so that I hit these five, but not myself? In the you know, I'll move away, cast the fireball, and then take a step back. Yeah. Just... Do, 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 do. Joe, Joe does that. Uh, fireball's uh, twenty foot range, isn't it? Yeah, twenty foot radius. Cool. Uh, so that's gonna be. Uh, he's gonna do. Fireball at level. He'll do it at level. Yeah, he'll do it at level three. <sighs> Agony of choice. Thirty-three. Uh, okay. Good damage. Good damage. One, one, two, three, mm. four. Oh, one makes it. And the uh, flesh golem fails. Uh, so let me check them out, Flesh Golems. They I could are... just dawn all of us, including these creatures. Hmm, no. You, you know, I could do that too, but I don't like want to hurt your skeletons because, like, the crumbs to wood. Uh, okay, so, um, the Flesh Golem flesh is golems in... On uh, the Flesh Golem is enveloped in flame, and it, uh, it starts, like, screaming and thrashing its arms around anger. It clearly fucking hates the fire. It, like, begins freaking out. How it goes, rrr, rrr. Uh, the bugbears, uh, let's see, all I feel but, you, buddy. all but one of them just die. Like, they are just hit with a fire, their, uh, their fur catches fire underneath their, like, weird flesh suits, Aww. and, uh, yeah, they burn up. What's half of, what was the damage, 33? Half of 33 is... 17. 17? Is it 16? Yeah, 16 you don't round up. Yeah. So one of them looks pretty badly wounded by the the burst of flame as well. How did the masks go to flame? Like, did they burn in agony? Or yeah, the masks become... like scream their own like agonized like burning scream as they as they fall down. Some of the masks like fall off their faces but continue to scream. Oh, oh lovely. Uh, um, the... So then, if you're trying, to... broke from his loving wife. Oh, so don't you? Go move to here and then end his turn. Okay. Um, he puts his teapot down on the table. Yes. Uh, the bugbear chief, who I was going to give a cool name to, but I can't open his token to do that right now. It's glitching. Runs Can we make up. one up? Yeah, what make him up. For Helen and Fetty McSnickers. All right, oh, Helen and um... Fetty McSnickers, the, uh, the blood lord. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no they already, already exist. Use that name. Uh... Um, oh. Steiner McBigBurger. Okay, yeah, Stein Steinemic Big Burger, so named because he makes burgers out of the flesh of man, uh, runs up here and is going to attack the skeleton directly in front of him. So, because he doesn't like that particular... Okay, so he's now slightly higher, but it probably won't make much of a difference. Let's see, so one... Misses. Two... Hits. Alright, so yeah, the second attack hits. He strikes the skeleton for eight damage. Um, I don't know why it says. I guess it is piercing. It's a morning star. Is morning star piercing or bludgeoning? Bludgeoning. Yeah. So it's some... piercing. Morning star's piercing. Okay. Yeah. I guess the spikes on it. Uh, morning star. Piercing. Yeah. I'm well, sure. I was doing the wrong damage all this time. Damn. Because it was bludgeoning. I'm pretty sure that hurts more on skeletons. But it runs up, it's... smashes one of the skeletons with a, its mace, and uh, that's its turn. Skeleton. One creature where that's relevant. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dink. Uh, Dink's unsure whether to cast haste or not, so 
No, I'm going to ha cast haste. I will twin spell haste myself and Lucian. Let's get this over and done with. Um, so, bing. Always in a rush, that boy. And, yep. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I'll come around here. I will say, hello, pop it, to the... That will provoke an attack of opportunity, won't it? Yeah. yeah. I don't mind. But it's like, ah! Um, pay attention to me, team? I'm relevant. No, oh. you're not. I will, <laughs> I will address the thing in front of me. I'll say, excuse me, would you please address all your aggravation to myself as I am Vladdy's bodyguard? And then I'll bonk him on the head, or try to. Bonk. With my hasted action. All right, yeah, that hits. You bonk it. Yeah, I'm also going to scrap a second level spell for some more sorcery points as a bonus action, and that'll be my turn. Is it a bonus action to scrap? No, I thought it was an action. Yep. No, it's a bonus. Bonus action, yeah. Okay, all right. You give him a good wallet. Uh, Lucian, it's your go. You are now hasted. <laughs> yep. As uh, you know, I you will... weren't deadly enough to begin with. No, absolutely not. Uh, so I'll start uh, bonking the... Uh, <laughs> You'll start bonking hello. the in front of me. <laughs> Alright, you start bonking. Yeah, oh, come on. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> I make myself a flesh golem for the lonely nights. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it too, my flesh golem. Uh, right. Those all hit, obviously. Very consistent bludgeoning damage there. <laughs> yeah. 8, 16, 24, 25, 29, 33 damage. Yeah. yeah. Nice and easy to add up for me. Right, yeah, that one looks... Both Key and Locke are, like, just messes of pulpy flesh at this stage. And one of them's very badly burned. Very, very badly burned. <laughs> I mean, quite it's a very lot badly burned. pain. I use that quote far too much. I need to find a gift for it. <laughs> Why? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, the, Vlad I'm just starts really... chanting. Vlad the day. All of the severed, all of the severed faces on the creature start chanting. Vlad the day. Vlad the day. Well, Little did you know, I was on the flesh all along. <laughs> um, is, it, is it my turn? It is. I believe your turn. Unless it's <laughs> anything else yeah. you. Uh, I will attempt to shock and grasp the one in front of me. Okay. Crit at me like a bastard. Thirteen! Alright, yeah. Oof. You drive your hand into it. You blast electricity through its form. Um, it, like, shudders. Oh, and like, oh, God. Goes up and you... <laughs> That was the opposite smart. It's like, ah, oh, thank you. That's smart. Oh dear. You just, you just gave Frankenstein some juice. Yeah, and you can just see it's like, yeah, like all pumped up after that. It loves it. Its nipples but get hard. It slaps well, in the face well, of its erection. Here's the thing. It does still you lose his reaction. So yes, I will yeah. move away from it. Hey, he's going to attack you. You just healed him from like nearly death. I'll hey, I was trying to help you, Flash. Yeah. To get more people in my spirit guardians, and I call a spiritual weapon next to the one I just healed. Bird. <laughs> <laughs> it strikes for lightning damage for some reason. <laughs> Huzzah! Yeah, that hits. You almost deal as much damage as you held it for. Um, and Don't get to update I'll reroll my spirit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh. Damn. That's good. Thank goodness yeah. you healed it, otherwise that would have killed it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> salt Lord. In all fairness, I think Tim des deserves a little bit of praise there because he didn't sort of meta. Yeah, he was like, hmm, that... I know that this, yeah, that was. Yeah. 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 Gives now we moment. all know. I'm sure. That's 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 okay. Okay. I would have done it anyway. I didn't want the opportunity attack. <laughs> <laughs> Not after the last one. <laughs> um, seeing that. Joe did such an amazing fireball, but don't say so I'm gonna point my fingers to the one that's still alive, see? Kung, kung, kung. Uh, that one. He's told the dead in that one. That's um, a good damage roll. Yeah. I mean, if he wasn't dead before, he fucking... Oh, oh he makes it! He is wise. He's a wise bugbear. 
Hmm. No, that <laughs> won't do. That won't do. It. Are you uh, using luck to make him reroll? It's not. I, I can't do like that. No. Yeah. No, it's very much. Okay. You're not gonna bonus action miss uh, bonus action sanctuary. Uh, why would I? They can't hit me here. I I, I have wrongly assumed that. That's true. Okay. Uh, one of them runs into the magic circle. Um, hello. Hello. Also, they, even what? if they were okay, they would only get a disadvantage on the attack rolls. Yeah. Yeah. What? what? They're not brave. Why did you betray me? Uh, a bunch I didn't of find them... the undead, but for the fucking bugbears, you dimwit. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> bugbears. A bunch of them just like doesn't matter if they pass or fail; they're gonna just expire because of that. Uh... A weakness to radiant damage. Don't forget that one. Oh yep, yeah, that one there. It doesn't matter for him either. Yeah, they're all pretty beat up. The uh, the little Vladdy's just cut them to shreds. Shoot them with their AK forty sevens. It's horrendous. <laughs> Uh, some bugbears start beating on Joe. Uh, one, two. Where are you, motherfuckers? Joe's gonna shield. I would have. Okay, I was gonna say I, that's sixteen compared to that nine. They can hit pretty hard, bugbears, when they want to. Uh, a bunch of them are gonna. Now. Cool. Uh, some of them are gonna start attacking skeletons. So I'm just gonna start rolling. So how many oh, are there new skeletons? Joe's gonna shield. One, two, three. <laughs> Not with magic, he shields the skeletons with his body. Like, no! Take me instead! <laughs> one, two, three. Alright, so only this one hits this skeleton. Um, it's, their AC is 16, so the There's an 18. first two would hit. Oh, oh, uh. Oh, so no, no, no. 16 was against Joe. 16 was Sorry, against yep, you, yep, yep. yeah. So, yeah, yep, one of them managed to sorry, crack I... your skeleton yep, yep. for. I got confused around. Seven damage? Yep, that's... You, someone got a 16 yeah. earlier, and you're getting 7. Fucking disappointing. Uh, okay. So that's them. Mediocre. Mediocre. <laughs> Lock and key. Uh, they've got to make deck saves. They're super good at these. Uh, as flesh golems. They took acrobatics and everything. They're great. Uh, they're making deck wisdom. Shots, saves? Oh, wisdom saves, actually, yeah. One, two. All right, well, one of them one, passes. One succeeds. All right, so the one that... Fail. What, one what? takes 22, the other one takes 11. Alright. One takes 11. Oh, wait, no, I'm getting the wrong around. Uh, so, put them back. So, one, thank goodness you healed that one, because otherwise he'd have been dead. Uh, the other one who takes 11. Yeah, they're both still up, but they are literally falling apart. Like, I think one of their arms drops off, like, just falls. Boom. Uh, one of them is going to swing twice I call at dibs. Denk. Um. Uh, if his okay. arm has fallen off, wouldn't he only get to swing once? Yes, but this is the one who got erect from the lightning damage, so he can. He's using a different. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, he, he, he hits once. He hits once and kicks him in the nuts once. No, no, no. I prefer the cock slap. Can yeah. you tell me which of his attacks is going to be the cock slap? Sure thing. So now, unfortunately, he has disadvantage because of uh, of the fire that Joe hit him with. So oh, arm, fucking Joe, and penis. No. Oh, I was hoping for two nat 20s again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is going to move up <laughs> and try and attack <laughs> Vlad. Because be Vlad is the source hey. of much of his pain right now. <laughs> no. 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 No, they do poorly. Uncle Joe. I healed your friend. Why are you attacking me? You didn't give me electric handy. <laughs> <laughs> electric oh. handy costs extra. Joe, 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 that guy. Um, the skeletons are going to continue attacking the bugbears. That seems fair. Because uh, that was kind of what they were told to do. Um, that one's going to get around to there. So we're going to do three against this guy over here. Okay. Uh, so that's a total of six attacks. So get two attacks each. Oh, I was expecting them all to miss. Two here. 25 damage? Oh, oh. 18. Uh, 18, okay. Yeah, you uh, you badly hurt that one. Um, Two against the chief. Now, technically, he's a bugbear chief, not a bugbear. So, no. Fine. He's bugbear chef. 
I'm not it's sure a... if the skeletons are smart enough to know that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, Has he been unshocked? What's his AC? 17. He's wearing slightly better 17. armor. Ooh. Well, Eight. lordy dar. Uh, one hits. Probably not for much damage. Eight damage. And then, right. of these two, which one's looking the most hurt? Uh, this one here is on death's door. Uh, the other one is untouched. Uh, then these three are all going to attack the one that's on death's door. Okay. My, uh, I'm not holding out much faith on him. No, they could all miss. It's true. They don't. He had two hit points and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, they just hack into little bits. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go my god. Um, if you'd been at full hit points, that wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> and then Joe is going to, uh, use his... He's going to use his action to Booming Blade. Which of the two bugbears near him looks injured? The one uh, the above, one, the one above you took a fireball. Yeah, so it's it's in bad shape. Yeah, Joe Joe will swing around and kaboom. Uh, there's an earth-shattering kaboom. Fucking there's a Booming Blade with a mop. Uh, okay, so that's 14 <laughs> damage. <laughs> ha ha! Uh, no, yeah. no, no, that's it's, it's enough. 14 yeah. and then 13 if he moves. Yes, yeah. so it was 14. It slams into his face, it's a boom, and like he does a, a flip as the mop uh, takes him out. And then Joe's going to come back round and do the nin not ninja, whoever it is that fight with sticks, but do it with the mop. <laughs> Flinging dirty ball all over the place <laughs> in a five foot radius. Ha ha! Yeah! Ha ha! I am uh... racist. That's the end of his turn. Uh, the bugbear, the bugbear chief is going to keep wailing on the one he started off attacking. So yep. one hit for thirteen. Hit. Is he still alive? Yep. Second hit. Uh, he, oh. Yeah, the, they yeah. have a fuck ton of HP. Um. So that wait, wait, wait. He two off of that is twelve plus. That's uh, twenty-one. He's still alive. Oh really? Wow. They, in total, they have 46 HP now. 21 or 23, that is. But he only gets one attack now, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, he only gets one yeah. attack. So, yeah, smashes that one twice. It's like necrotic protection breaks down and then crunches into its rib cage. Uh, ribs fly everywhere. But it's still up, and the bugbear looks surprised. Like, you're a skeleton. You should be dead by now. Uh, skeleton shrugs. <laughs> Dank. <laughs> How's how's our uh, lock doing? Whichever one is, how's he looking? Oh, uh, incredibly, incredibly damaged. He's just being kept alive by a few sparks of electricity right now. <laughs> Denk like gives Vladdy some strong side eye, <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll. Uh, I'll use my hasted action to attack this guy first. Okay. Just plain old attack. Yeah, that hits. Eleven hit. Oh, lovely. Uh, you like put your hand on his chest to just push him over, and he like falls and like pfft, turns Oof. to mush. And you see, like, the oh. rune uh, on this uh, grave lights up. Like, oh, lovely. It's very video uh, game, kill all the monsters to proceed. I'm, I'm being very lazy yeah. with my uh, my game construction today. Uh, Denk's going to zoom around here, take an opportunity to attack off that guy. Uh, which guy, sorry? And the off one next one. to Joe. i go past that guy. Joe. Yeah, sure thing. Yep. All right, he's going to take a swing. <gasps> no. And then twin spelled uh, booming blade. First attack on the guy to my left. Second attack on the chief. So on the left, twenty-one for uh, fourteen for the moment. Yep. And then oh no, do I kill a skeleton? Possibly. Uh, yeah. Roll roll a thing. You you kill a, a oh. bugbear like you crash into its head. It falls dead. Uh, but you miss the the bugbear chief like quite handily. You, you're you underestimate your own speed and you like stagger yourself like keep trying to keep your footing. Mm. And I uh, will scrap another second level spell as my bonus action. Okay. You shouldn't leave this one to me. What? <laughs> I I'm going to shocking the last now. bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm going Pac-Man on it. Wacker, wacker, wacker. Wacker, wacker. No, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, there's just... just Gore and like a smear on the ground where there was uh, this this thing. You just hit it over oh. and over and over again. The little oh, laddies look very disappointed. They're like, ah. I want to. 
I wanted to touch him as if to shocking grasp him so he thinks I heal him and then inflict <laughs> wounds <laughs> as I see the disappointment in his face. You gently caress his nipple with necrotic damage. And wanders over here. Alright, you wander over there. This last bugbear is looking... Well, he doesn't look nervous. He looks like an insane thing covered in gore and flesh, but still. Vladi. I will move over here. Vladi, turn. Vladi, turn. Vladi, <laughs> turn. Uh, I'm going to shoot a firebolt at the sh 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 chieftain. Actually, I'll toll, toll, him, toll him dead. Okay. Die! Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. uh, he's injured, so he takes 34 damage. Holy shit. Yeah. Yep. You yeah. shout, that was a fucking cantrip. <laughs> you should see what happened when I use spell slot, motherfucker. <laughs> Not actually that much more. The average damage of cantrip is almost as high as most of my spell slots. Um, I move my uh, sword over there and attack the bug bugbear. The bugbear. Bugbear. Bug bugbear. Ah, uh, yep. For eleven. Ah, uh, cool. It cuts him. It's and like I'll reroll my spirit guardians. Big damage. Come on. Yeah, Big what the fuck is oh, that? There we go. Oh, wow. Salt. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Um, <laughs> that? It could have been slightly lower, but only just. <laughs> only just. <laughs> wow, that is. Um, that's impressive. Uh, <laughs> Those are some Joe better. standard rolls there. Yeah, I'm gonna fantastic roll. I'm going to follow Vladimir's lead. Something not impersonating him because I'm my own person and my own character. Aww, that's... Dang. You're that's a cheap you're off. character. <laughs> <laughs> I've Vlad, come like... Like Vlad's got one of them school bells and... Th uh, thank goodness he's uninjured. He's got a little, like, in a bell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, he's not impressed. Not impressed. I, I start acting my own skills a bit. Yeah, it won't be fine. You only <laughs> just start doubting your own skills? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, bugbears. Alright, well one of them's gonna continue to try and murder John, or Joe, well, sorry. Gonna roll a wisdom save or take seven, uh, radiant damage. Alright, uh, well, misses and takes that seven. So, yeah, I was looking, looking a little, little hurt. Uh, and then... Right, told that that is actually just an ear-piercing, uh, cowbell. Holy fuck, I've only just realised how <laughs> terrifying that gif is. <laughs> I, I can't see said gif, but or, or, said gif, but gif. However you want, baby. <laughs> um, one sec. I just need to make sure this appears briefly on stream, um, so that people understand. Yeah. It's fucked up. Everyone needs to see a bit of beauty in their life. Uh. <laughs> We'll just we'll just leave that at the bottom while all this continues on. That that that's for Vladdy's told the dead, obviously, you know. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Vladdy's face when he told the dead. <laughs> I'll put that over my camera. I'll just put that over my camera for now. Um, oops. Can you get a, a gif for John's told the dead, which failed twice? I I will look. I will look for one for John's. We'll look up disappointing. In the meantime. Yeah. I mean, I have different things. Like, I'm not glad in it. I don't smoke. <laughs> That's just <laughs> awful. Right. Uh, anyway, moving moving on from that. Um, what was I going to say? Before I got yeah. Uh, awful, but you're mesmerized. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized. Uh, the other one passes. Oh, there's another one to make a spirit guardians check. So I'll just do that quickly. Or has he already made it? I'm so thrown off. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> The two I've black got, have made their spirit guardians che uh, guardian okay, checks. And one the, of them passed, one of them failed. Okay, the one the who passed didn't have takes... to make one yet because it's not yes. his turn. The one who passed takes three. Uh, right. Uh, so one bugbear tried to hit Joe and failed. The other bugbear is going to try and hit Sparrow. Ah, hit Sparrow. No! Ah, my boy! Uh, both the, the oh, flesh golems man. are dead. Uncle Joe, it's your go. Motherfuckers. I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking bugbears on my motherfucking... Oh, uh, what was I saying? 
Ah, uh, 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 booming blade to the guy below me. Uh, you, you spin hits. around after knocking one of them out, crash into the other one's face, and kill a second bugbear with your mop. And uh, continue to be a mini Hulk. He's mopping them up. Skeletons are going to oh. move around. <laughs> oh, it's bugbear chief. He's not going to have and a good time. So it's going to be eight attacks on a... Oh, no, sorry, no. It's going to be seven attacks on the bugbear chief because one of them only gets one attack. That's true. So on the bugbear chief... Uh, 17 AC, remember. Yep. Yep. Oh. Jeez, uh, uh, double nat 20s. That one was Sparrow. <laughs> three hit. Yep. Uh, Sparrow's not on the bugbear chief. Oh, that was the one who got one. damaged. <laughs> so, three hits with one crit. 31 damage. All right. He is... Yeah. Uh, they just swarm over him, hacking and cutting as he holds his head after the terrible bell noise. And they pull the bugbear chief down and cut him to ribbons. And then Sparrow tries to get his revenge. Oh, three hits? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You're better than this. Oh, 30 yes, damage. They, you know, they might not hit as much, but they do, uh, they, they do good with the damage. I, okay. Oh, yeah. The 31 actually had two ones in the roll. Jesus. Um... <laughs> Yeah, they, they well, Sparrow uh, decapitates the last bugbear. It falls to the ground, blood pouring out of its open wound, and dies. And uh, with that, the the fight concludes. Like uh, the last visible threats are dead. Although all around you, you can still hear the noise of these the faces that were on the bugbear. These human faces are still like gurgling, screaming. Some of them are like whimpering and making sort of general like noises of distress and pain. Um, well, you can also hear. Still. You can also hear like the the woods around you, so, uh, more of these kind of angry screams, uh, roars, the sound of other creatures approaching. The trees themselves seem to be like writhing. Okay, um, very important question. Am I able to get all twelve of the shields made of flesh and bone, and are they as good as the shields the skeletons would currently have? Uh, yes and yes, because you have a bunch of skeletons you can just go over and grab them. Oh, oh yeah. Joe instructs oh. them to go and collect their brand new shields. I mean, Joe, you know you have like to keep them health standards in your bar, like... I, I assume no. you're going to clean the flesh off of those shields, right? I don't tell you how to run your sort manufacturing business. You don't tell me how to run my bar. Ah, uh, Lucian, you got any, you got any healing in your... I don't. Um, how much do you need? Uh, let me try that. 23 down. Let, let me try. Let me try. I can heal you. Yeah. Right. If you want, of course. I, if we're gonna burn spell slots, I can do it myself. But uh, Although you would be more efficient, but. It's, I can it, give you 23 points for on hands. Yeah. Spell good. slots are very useful in combat. combat are we on an hand. endless loop of careless whispers, or am I going insane? Right. Thanks. Um, I think both. Oh, I did wonder. I go um. back to eating my own shit. <laughs> uh, Joe, one of those skeletons seems very badly hurt. Are you going to use a different bag, or...? Yes, I'll put that one back in the bag, but I'll keep the other seven out. Actually, you know what? Because there's still another two in the bag, I'll put that one in and take the other two out. There's two more in the bag? Yeah, each bag has ten skeletons. My god. Uh, Alright, could you drop that one out? Because I need to copy these across to another map. Oh, sorry. Uh, are, you, are you doing it right now? I'll do it once you've dropped uh, it. Yeah, cool. Okay, yeah. Uh, could I go up to the chieftain and see if I can get like a horn of his? Something yeah, definitely the loot the bodies. No, I don't care about loot. I just want like a trophy. Like, maybe I can get his kneecap. You can right, um, what kind of trophy is that? <laughs> Matt, um, is there, is there going to be any more combat in the next 10 minutes? Because otherwise I'm going to get rid of my spirit guardians. Mm, keep hanging on to them for the moment. Because you can literally right. hear creatures, like, approaching. Alright. So tiny Vladimir's are staying around for now. Just for the moment, yeah. So uh, what do we do now? Where do we go? Do we jump in pool of blood, Lucian? You want to try that out? See what happens? Uh, I grab the golem that was... Uh, named Key and throw him in the grave 
that was marked lock. Okay, he f- falls into the grave. Like you can oh, see, the sigils are already uh, already alight. Like it looks like you, you might have already done it. To be honest, like skeletons, get your bows ready. But that's a nice okay. idea. That would have been a lot more clever of me. Yeah, it falls in and the sigil uh, wakes up, and <laughs> you, you you solve the uh, the puzzle. Well done. Way. You've both created and solved the puzzle at the same time. <laughs> oh my god. Just like a dream. You know what, you should you should become a contractor. You can make a lot of money that way. <laughs> <laughs> I really was just a joke for myself. I, I know. <laughs> oh no, I, I get that one. Uh, can I get like a kneecap patella off this? Yes, yes I, yeah, you can rip a piece off of a creature. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> Go get his penis. Uh, no, just, uh, has anything changed with the cauldron? No, not really. But the the sigils on the thing are are, are alive. I uh, like they, they they seem to be pulsing with power, and there is a certain from of magic. You have your ability to see magic, actually. So looking at the cauldron, it does appear to have uh, a magical aura now. Where there was like a dull one before, now it uh, it has whatever the school of teleportation magic is that's what's now around the the port the the cauldron. I believe it's abjuration abjuration no it's conjuration conjuration, conjuration yeah. yes yeah i kind of as you're looking there you can hear all around you yeah the the trees seem to be like writhing and moving uh several of them actually seem to be like the trees themselves seem to be kind of looming in towards you all right and... so we jump into cauldron go uh, into cannonball the... I can send Gertrude in first, just in case. The faces that were on the bugbears, do they are they still moving or are they? Yeah, emotional? they're writhing and screaming all around you. Some of them are gibbering incoherently. Are they? Are they not attached? Like, can they be removed? Can they be pulled off? Yeah, no, some of them have actually you're not fallen off. Any of those no, no, no. Annoying. Joe, Joe, Joe's not. Sparrow wants to subtly, not subtly, sneakily try and take one of the, the faces That's without screaming. being noticed. <laughs> Like you pick... in his Sparrow picks one up, and it just goes, ah! 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 and it stop, goes nearby, stop, stop, stop. and you hear, ah! 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 Sparrow then tries to act innocent, I'm going to roll a performance, Let's see. <laughs> minus three. Oh, it's not three. bad, because he's got minus three. I mean, all around you there's stuff screaming, so, it, you know, yeah. it might not hurt right could, now. Could be anything. Oh uh, yeah, what do you guys do? Uh, it appears as if like the woods themselves are closing around you. You can hear more of these like horrible battle cries and screams in the distance. Well, I say the distance like getting closer quite quickly. Oh, uh, uh, Denk's gonna cannibal the cauldron. <laughs> Denk cannibals him. Sploosh, sploosh. Denk splooshes. Except like, on sacrifice. I wait like five <laughs> seconds to see if he shows back up. <laughs> I'll wait like six seconds. I'll quietly fill my water skin while we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll quietly think... fill my uh... water skin while we're waiting. Uh, <laughs> Denk does not show back up. Alright, I also jump into the cauldron. It just gets worse the more you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I fill my water skin with blood every morning. <laughs> um, no. It's the angle I sleep at. All right, you guys all like, in some way or another, pull yourself into these uh, this cauldron of blood. There's a br- it's it's like um, it's like diving, it's like going through a beaded curtain of liquid, like or going through like a, a thin waterfall. You hit it, but you immediately come out on the other side, and just fall flat on your face in the middle of a, a fairly long corridor. Ugh. Um. So, here you all are. So you're in this long corridor. Um, it's kind of segmented. It's quite wide, but it's um, got these pillars. Uh, some of them large, some of them a little smaller, running along the uh, the middle. Um, kind of holding up a, a stone ceiling. Um, the walls have uh, thick iron spikes uh, sticking out of them by a... Uh, couple of like about a foot long iron spikes sticking out of the wall kind of pointed in, in inwards and the floor is covered just absolutely covered in glass and um, nails and yeah just various like things John McLean would not want to step on um, 
And yeah, you can see, uh, those of you with good dark vision can maybe make out, like, kind of a ways away into the darkness. There appears to be, like, a barricade, like a wooden barricade has been made up. Uh, I'll pop on my drift globe, cast light on my drift globe. I've already got light set, I'm pretty sure, on it. Vladdy, you remember this morning when you just said, should I wear shoes or not? What did you decide in the end? I wore shoes. Oh, oh that's a good idea. Uh, uh, what was that about a drift globe? You said you had something set? Uh, light. I I don't know if it, if I'm. I You're not emitting light right on. now, and there's nothing on your thing. So, drift globe uh, is what is it again? Like mm, he's doing light, so forty twenty. No, no, no I can my see daylight. Normally, anyway. Are you doing light or daylight? There's there's a difference. Uh, which ones do you guys want? Do you want super super daylight. bright? Would you? How, uh, daylight daylight doesn't last long, so okay. it lasts an hour, oh, doesn't it? Oh no, that's ten minutes. A minute. Uh, yeah, I can cast light on part of you. I can cast light on like your mace. I offered first. Oh yeah, daylight is an hour. So yeah, <laughs> I let's, clicked it let's, first. Uh, let's do daylight. We're not we're not sneaking. Okay, yeah, anything. I'll I'll put um daylight on my. Okay. Uh, it is sixty foot radius sphere of light, and then it's sixty of dim. 60. So. Yeah. 120. I also think global illumination is on because I can see all the way yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, can you? Let me yeah. just... I don't, it shouldn't be on. Uh, it's not. I on. mean, I don't know if it's going to become relevant when we have a drift glow with daylight around, so... Yeah. No. It's not on, which is weird that it's showing up as on. No, wait, it is on. If tick is on. Bleh, my bad. I sometimes tick yeah. it to, like, turn it off. Ah, I can't see anyone. Oh, it means it's on you like those fuckers that use zero for yes in their code. It doesn't work if you don't stick to the standards. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, you can see uh, Drift Club activates. You can see all these spikes, these sharp things on the ground. And yeah, there's a barricade, like a to the ceiling barricade, a little further along. Guys? Yeah? Is anybody else feeling moistness? Wait, you... Where? In my pants. I cannot feel any moistness in your pants. I am not feeling your pants, Joe. <laughs> my pants? Uh, what? I don't know. Fool me okay. once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I was just checking. Alright. Uh, Denk, when you get to there... Yeah. Uh, if it, if Joe that. would have been moving as well, you can move yourself along a little bit. Same with Vlad. You're, like, moving move. quite... One of my students, but he won't move. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you're moving quite slowly because you're having to move over this like um, glass and uh, bits of metal, sharpened metal and stuff. So you're moving at a fairly slow pace. Uh, when Dank gets to there, a voice like sort of echoes through him like, oh, You've come a long way. A long way. But I think yes. it's time. that long. We are quite tired. Have it's been moving closer to Basil. It's been so long <laughs> since I've had visitors. I look forward to adding your faces to my collection. Oh, you're not going to like my skeletons then. None of them have faces. And I'm going to need everyone well, to roll one of them does initiative. Now. Shh. <laughs> Sparrow hushes you. You're going to roll initiative? All right. Yeah, I mean, going. there's still a screaming face in its back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's muffled. Oh, my initiative being garbo today. I think I think Death Ward is still active, John. It hasn't been that long. It's like eight hours at last. Mm. Yeah, but we took like six hours to get somewhere, then we took an hour's break. Yeah, you're fine, I'm Death Ward. Death Ward's still up. It's been it's been a long time. You've been like doing this for like six hours, but it's it's still it's still up for now. Uh just having to somebody I think move my thing. Boop, boop, boop. Save changes. Quick, John, you're on fire. Stop, drop, and roll in the glass and the shards of metal. Uh, roll deception. Uh, I mean, it, I'm not sure if it really applies. I don't think you're that dense that you'd think you're on fire just because somebody no, said. No, no. Like, uh, I want to know. Do you think I really am on fire? Like, maybe I am, and it's not. No, I'm not really very can't. convincing. I can't feel that. He's clearly taking the piss. Uh, he's but, not but, good but, at but. that. Okay. Not his strong suit. Descending. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, you hear this voice. 
uh, speech you. You hear like a, a cackling noise. Eh, 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 eh. I go back. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I don't I keep going to a witch's laugh, but it should be creepier. Uh, John, you're the oh, first to react. You notice that the spikes in the wall start to like shake. Like, they're beginning to violently shake, in particularly the ones behind you. Um, so here's the deal: the, the floor is covered in this uh, this sharp um, material. If you run at your, if you dash, um, you'll be taking. 1d4, uh, sorry, 2d4 damage per 5 foot you dash. You can move 30 feet fast. If, if you dash, you if I can, like, Would I know if I cast freedom of movement on myself, would that change anything? Um, I think, yeah, freedom of movement would probably actually negate that. If you click it out, I'll know for sure. I'm just reading the... It doesn't specify anything in it. About, no, no, like, but, they're, you know, flavor and stuff. Let's have a look. Uh, touch a creature for the duration. The creature's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain. This isn't magical, so it's basically difficult terrain in its own in a weird way. So yeah, I think it would allow yeah, you to. Freedom of movement does specify that it only affects things that reduce your movement. Oh, speed does it? Or cause the target to be paralyzed or restrained. Mm. Ah, it doesn't reduce your movement. Speed, it just hurts like shit. So no, it wouldn't work then. Thank you, Vlad. Mm. Yeah, that's why I asked. Uh, I guess in that way, mm, I'll just uh, okay. Uh, sorry, Gertrude. Bye bye. I'm going to banish her. And then that action. Yeah, yeah, easy mm -hmm. action. I know, I know. It's expensive, but I guess. And I'll just, I'll uh, just move just five feet while staying in Lucian's aura. <laughs> Always. Yeah, just, just block the way up, John. I can't. Like, uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah. This, this, this. Oh, my, there's no need to be childish. I have an intelligence of nine. There is always time to be childish. <laughs> Alright, so you move forwards that much. Um, so the voice goes, So many interesting individuals. But what is a spellcaster when they can't speak? Uh, Joe? Well, first of all, can you see this text? No. That's because no. I wanted to self. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, could you make a DC 16 constitution saving throw as your mouth begins to fill with blood? Uh, like, you just start, your mouth just begins to fill with blood. No, it doesn't. No, fair <laughs> enough. No. That would have been great, because you wouldn't have been able to tell your skeletons to do anything for a minute. Yeah, uh, you feel blood begin to fill up your mouth, and you just go... <laughs> Yeah, and spit it up on the ground. I'm used to it. Yeah, it's fine. Your organs have been failing all the time recently. You're used to this. And you hear like a... <laughs> Would I get the feeling that she's within 30 feet of me, though? Like maybe... Yeah, I mean, you can't, see, it, it, you can't see her anywhere. You don't uh, know I'm where. That's why I'm asking why we get the feeling. No, wall? you would not. You just get the feeling that suddenly your mouth is full of blood. That's the feeling you get. No. Do I get the feeling that my spirit guardians are attacking something through the wall? No. <laughs> ow! Okay. Ow! Fair what enough. is going on? No! Uh, it's Lucian's go. Yeah, yeah Lucian. How far can I move before I start taking damage? Uh, you can move 30 feet as normal. It's dash actions when you start to get hurt. As you sort of okay. the oh, I thought it's like, you can't... Oh, I thought we can only move half speed. I mean, Matt, very specific. Is yeah, yeah, it's my own fault, sorry. Yeah. And I'll try to Eldritch Blast the barrier. Okay. So roll some attacks for me. Pew pew! You, uh, you pew pew the barrier. Uh, they all hit. A is an advantage because the barrier is restrained. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It dodges. Uh, Alright, yeah, it, your, your Eldritch Blast blasts in the bag, you take two big, like, chunks out of it, but it still looks pretty firm, it looks pretty sturdy. It's made up of, like, uh, bone and flesh, and, like, it's all been held together by thick ropes made of sinew. She's just keeping to her feet. Same thing you're made of bone, you're making Joe uncomfortable. <laughs> Joe makes everyone else uncomfortable, so it's only fair. That moistness is back again. Uh, Uncle Joe? 
Uncle Joe is going to use his bonus action to say to the skeletons, which I assume he would have said in the meantime anyway, but we would have argued that later if I'd <laughs> fouled. Uh, <laughs> continue following me like you have been. Uh, we're going to move forwards. If anything tries to attack us, shoot it with a bow and arrow. Just the arrows. Don't throw bows at it. You know I what I mean. have to explain this shit. For <laughs> fuck's sake, Adam! As Adam throws his bow ahead of you. <laughs> Literal fucker. It's it's a it's a little conga line. Oh no, it's not. Anymore. Adam gives you a really like sarcastic asshole look. <laughs> Matt's walking like a douche. Um, yeah. and then, <laughs> so shot himself. Joe, Joe will use his action to uh, chill touch the barrier. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's fine because it's necrotic damage. It can it can damage the sort of structure of it. Yeah. Uh, you, a little hand appears on the barrier, and like you see some of it like cracks and like uh, begins to necrify. Keep it up, gang! The veneer's peeling. Um, That's the end of his turn. Vladimir, I will move up thirty feet and attack the barrier with a firebolt. Okay, you may do I so. I assume. I'm not gonna tell the dead the fucking barrier. That sounds insane. I've got a firebolt. It. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that would work. Sure, you don't want a shocking grasp it, Tim? Huh? Mm? Huh? <laughs> I'm not in range. <laughs> I would if I could. <laughs> he will when he gets closer, Adam. <laughs> okay. So, you firebolt. Sorry, I was feeling with something. You firebolt it. It hits. Boof! Like it. Yeah, you damage it, some part of it begins to burn, uh, a little bit of it falls away, but it still looks pretty f sturdy. Uh, dunk. Uh, well, I'm going to move up as far as I can. There's a load of people in the way, so it could be hard, so 5, 15, 20, 30, get me to that. Okay. Um, and then I'll go here and I'll cast uh, Chaos Bolt, the second level, on the barrier. Alright, you blast the ha! barrier. Uh, what a Rolling to self. Pew. Uh, yep. That hits. And that is... Confusing. Force damage. Okay. Uh, so that is 15 force damage. Alright, yeah. You continue to like wail on this barrier. It's breaking apart pretty steadily now. Uh, you start to see like, holes also, appearing in it. You can see like bonus dark and beyond. Put my... uh, for you, Lucian. Hmm? Uh, nothing so, came up in so yeah. that. So it's like... Ah, right. Stone of Agnes. By the way, can I ask, how is your AC 22? 22, uh, I have... Don't tell him how to be Max. I, I don't know. The, I don't know anything though. about this character class. I'm just really curious. I have. I have this. So my AC equals thirteen plus my con. I have plus five to con, a plus one shield, and a cloak of protection. There we go. Yeah. Mm. Fucking hell. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be my go. All right. So behind you, like all the spikes on the walls are rumbling, and uh, behind you, some of these spikes suddenly jut out. Uh, they just fly out from the wall. I accidentally move them so they're not in the right position anymore. And then they fly out. So... Uh, Ooh, it... They look nasty. Yeah, they fly out. Uh, so yeah, these massive iron spikes like uh... slice up. Uh, like, they hit the far walls. Like Anything that was caught there would be completely impaled by them. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no skeletons there or anything, so that's a shame. And uh, yeah, that happens behind you. It is the oh, salt. Yeah, it is the <laughs> salt lord's turn. I'm gonna move there if no one tries to stop me. Yep. Right, I, gonna... I briefly think about tripping him up, but then decide against it. <laughs> Uh, here's the thing, I do want to try to tell the dead the door, be simply because... You can't, it's not a creature. Yeah, a sacred flame technically doesn't work either, so... Uh, I don't know what I'll do. 
I think I'd allow Sacred Flame, but I told throw the dead. Throw a dagger it, at it? I, I guess you can throw a dagger at it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. Uh, unfortunately, I will need to get the dagger back, so... Oh, oh yeah, uh, I missed... Uh, you hit it pommel first, and uh, it like clatters to the ground. Ding ding ding. Go uh, on, John. Uh, that, that's not... All right. Uh, you hear a voice, John. Go. You'd think you were blind. Um, could you please make a Constitution saving throw for me, Salt Lord? With the benefit of Lucian. With the benefit of Lucian. Oh, why did that it's all that come up? I don't know, I didn't click it. I don't know. So Let's yeah, focus constitution. On the... okay. I make it. Okay. Ah, so you, you, you feel like blood begin to pour out the cords of your eyes, like tears of blood begin to fill you, uh, your vision, uh, but you feel that kind of like reassuring hand of fate and you Wipe your eyes clean and the, the blood stops to, to flow out. Oh, I don't want to be sick again. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take a quick break so I can run to the bathroom because I really need to pee. So, yeah, BRB five, like, minutes. Yeah. Okay.